Good evening, guys. I know it's very rare that I make a evening video, but this one is kind of important, and I wanted to get this out as fast as you can. It does not make any sense to wait till the morning. Uh, last week, I told you a story about one of my neighbor's kids getting harassed, however you want to put that whole story, in a Walmart parking lot. <clears throat> Talked to a neighbor just now. And she was telling me a story about somebody she knows that was at a Kroger in Knoxville. Different store, different side of town. This was on the south side of Knoxville. For those of you guys who live in the area, pay attention. Okay? Everybody else pay attention too because this is happening all over the country. And I'll get to that in a second. Story goes as there was a lady with her two kids children, young children, uh, going through the grocery store, and she noticed a guy, well-dressed, white shirt, black tie, white guy, following them throughout the store. And she went, tried to find security. There is no security. So when she went to the cashier to pay for her groceries, she told the cashier. And the cashier said, no problem, I'll have the bag boy take you out to your car, and you'll be okay. So that's, and she said she would uh, check out the guy himself slowly, because as she was explaining who the guy was, this guy wound up in line right behind her at the checkout. Lady goes out to the car with the bag boy, puts first kid in the car. As she's unbuckling the second child from the cart, with the bag boy right there who's loading the groceries in her car, this guy comes sprinting, her words, not mine, from the store with no purchase and tries to grab the cart with the kid in there. Unfortunately, she was able to get the kid out real quick. She got the kid in the car, beat feet out of there. The bag boy was chasing after the guy. This was in broad daylight at 6 o'clock in the evening. Busy grocery store with a store employee with her, and these people still do this. Guys, pay attention. After talking to her, I got in, and I want to show you a few things here real quick. Take a look at this. I did a search online for Walmart kidnappings, okay? Just a DuckDuckGo search. Look at, look at the headlines I see. Take out the picture ones because, okay, whatever it would be. Georgia police arrest two suspects in Walmart kidnapping. Terrifying spike in kidnapping cases at Walmart and other stores. Uh, if we continue on, we'll go to a second screenshot here. Woman kidnapped from Walmart parking lot was fatally shot. Body found of Nevada, kidnap, uh, Nevada woman kidnapped from Walmart parking lot. Family fears missing Nevada woman was abducted from Walmart parking lot. Girl escapes from alleged kidnapper at Walmart. Let's go on to the third page of these, okay, as I pull up that screenshot here real quick. Suspect arrested in alleged kidnapping of teens seen nearly two weeks ago. If you look below, last seen in a Walmart parking lot. Last one there. Man arrested in attempted kidnapping at Walmart. Now, I could probably do the same thing for Kroger or Jewel or Piggly Wiggly or Hannaford's or Food City or Smith's or any other grocery store that's around here. Guys, this is where it's getting to. People are kidnapping people to sell them. That one story that I was showing you there where it says uh, in, the in the first uh picture, and I'll link this one below, where it says terrifying spike in kidnapping cases at Walmart and other stores. I'll link that story so you can read it. There's one story in there that a guy was going through the store offering $100,000 to buy people's kids from them, and then trying to kidnap them when, of course, the people turned down the $100,000. Is this what our economy is getting to? Think about it. We, the southern border is open like crazy. 
that goes both ways, okay? You think the cartels wouldn't be more than happy to get a couple of gringo kids? Sure. I know everybody likes to talk about movies. Everybody, Anybody watch the last Rambo movie? Yeah, go watch that one. Exactly, okay? Hey, we can get the, the white kid, and it doesn't matter. You know, a baby, hey, they can sell it for adoption. A young girl, a teenager, an adult woman, we can sell you into prostitution. This is what's going on. Look at Bear Independence, okay? And Grindstone Ministries, and a lot of what he does is child, you know, to prevent child trafficking and helping those people out, okay? This is huge. This is becoming mainstream. Woody all sent me a story today about one county in North Carolina who's getting rid of their police force. Fine. I mean, the mayor of the town in the picture there has a Young Turks shirt on, you know, uber liberal group, okay? Hey, we don't need police. Why did the police chief quit? Well, because, you know, he found city council members that were committing crimes, and so he recommended that the State Bureau of Investigation look into it. And, of course, city council couldn't have any of that, so they tried to destroy him on social media. And he's like, I can't work under these conditions, and he left. And so now their idea to cover up their crimes, let's just get rid of the police. This is where we're heading, guys. We are without rule of law, W-R-O-L. We know that phrase, right? That's what's going on. And it's getting closer and closer and closer. And please do not fall into that trap of NIMBY, not in my backyard, like I talk about all the time. Oh, that won't happen in my neighborhood. Oh, that would never happen to me. Sure. Like I said, nobody walks down the aisle and says, yeah, I'm going to get divorced. Nobody gets on a plane and says, yep, but this one's going to crash. Okay. Never happened to me. Everybody has that, that, that idea. It happens to people. Trust me. Okay. Then you get into even worse where you start talking about people trying to defend themselves. And, you know, my first question every time I hear one of these stories, was the person armed? And the answer I get every time is no. And the excuse is, excuse of, oh, I've got little kids and I don't want them playing, you know, getting into my purse and playing with the gun. Then be a responsible parent and make sure that the gun is somewhere they can't get to, okay? You know, I, I'm sorry, all this crap of you got to have your gun locked up, that's, that's a complete waste, okay? You know, hang on, Mr. Criminal, do you mind if I go to my safe and get my gun first? No, you know, you need to have it where it is accessible to you and not accessible to the kids. Figure it out. So this is now where we get into the next part, which comes with the problem of that. And this, again, was sent to me by one of you guys. This is a, I'll show you here, screenshot. Transaction declined. I'm assuming, like me, many of you have purchased things online, whether it's ammo or whatever. Palmetto State Armory, a lot of you are familiar with them. I know I buy my magazines from them. Your, this wasn't mine. This was sent to me, and okay? the name has been blacked out. Your recent $759 transaction at Palmetto State Armory was declined because we believe this merchant is prohibited by our terms of service. Your purchase was flagged as potentially prohibited in Section 4 of our terms of service. This could have happened if the merchant you are purchasing from uses money potentially prohibited in Section 4 of our terms of service. Sounds like Kamala Harris in a word salad. This could have happened if the merchant you are purchasing from using, uses money transferring services such as PayPal or Square if the merchant sells restricted items such as weapons or drug paraphernalia. Weapons, huh? Although we cannot evaluate each transaction individually, we believe your transaction falls under these restrictions, and unfortunately, this decision is final. The Affirm team. Anybody that has an account with the Affirm bank, you need to close it tomorrow morning. Okay. End of story. The only way we are going to stop this illegal stuff that they are doing is to stop doing business with them, put them out of business. Done. Okay. This is exactly what happened today. So now what we have are crime going up through the roof, kidnapping, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
And the only way you are going to protect yourself is if you are armed, because as I told you last week, Walmart can't go past the sidewalk. You know, and I'm, you know, Kroger doesn't have security on staff. So you're on your own. But oh, the bank says, we're not going to allow you to buy a weapon. Hmm. The cops, sure. You know, I can see the story that I told you that happened here in South Knoxville. Help, help, police. Somebody just kidnapped my baby. Okay, well, well, we'll get somebody out there in the next couple hours or whatever. By that time, the guy's in Georgia. You know, this is the thing. You know, the only call you want to make to the cops is, Hi, police, send the coroner and a shovel. There's a body you need to pick up in the Walmart parking lot. Pinball out.